Welcome back. Um, we're going to be cutting the last couple of parts for the nickel harpa today. Um, uh, everything's coming together pretty good. Um, we'll be finishing and putting on strings in no time. So um, what I've got today here is the bridge. This is the first part we're going to cut. So um, here I have in my cam workspace in Fusion 360. So I've got uh, two stock pieces here, um, which uh, are going to match up perfectly with the stock piece I have here. And um, first thing we're going to do is we're going to cut, uh, looks like we're going to cut the top first. Um, no, actually, wrong. We're going to cut the bottom first. So I'm going to put the stock in, in the CNC machine and let's reorient this a little bit so that it makes a little more sense to us. Um, I'm going to put, run an adaptive tool path first here um, just to clear out the bulk of material. It's got a stock to leave. And then after that, I'm just going to run a parallel that's um, skipping over this uh, center area. And then we're going to cut out that center stock right there. Um, that'll leave that a piece just kind of hanging there, but um, that'll get taken care of when we flip the piece over and move into the second part. And uh, just exactly the same, another adaptive with stock to leave, another parallel, and then finally a contour, <clears throat> which I have some tabs here on um, to hold the stock in place. So let's see what that all looks like. So we're gonna start our adaptive. Some pretty conservative steps there. This is hard maple, so I don't really wanna be taking huge adaptive strap passes and it looks so that all looks pretty decent so let's try from the other side and see what happens same thing adaptive um, looks like I've got uh, tenth of an inch that I'm doing my step down at here. Okay, and then the contour. I kind of want to see where those tabs end up because, uh, yeah, it looks like the tabs are still going to be hanging on to the piece. And uh, see if I can run these together. Okay. That all looks great. The um, only thing I really need to keep in mind is that when I attach this to the table, I want um, my um, the super glue tape setup that I do, I want it to be across this top and bottom parts. Um, so I'll mark out the plumber and uh, let's go do some cutting. <laughs> 